Hello and welcome to today's video on the Titan Colosseum, and this was highly requested by you guys on the first Q&A series video. And in case you didn't check that video out, you may not have realised I also answered another popular question about what are the best Titan patronages to use, so I'll leave a link for that video in the description if you wanted to check that out for yourself. But within this one, we're going to have a quick look at the Colosseum store and the three main items you can buy, with some useful tips on how you can earn more resources so you can be spending more at the store. So firstly, let's talk about the main items that rotate in the store since this was the main part of the question. From what I've seen, I can say that the majority of items from the store are going to be fairly good items, and I would certainly rate them higher than any items you can buy from the arena. But would I say they're better than event items? Well, that does vary and I will be giving you some examples now, but for the majority of soul items, they'll definitely be worth going for when you get the time. So let's go through these souls here and show you what I mean. The first item is going to be the Power of Sea Scepter. Now, now, if you're in the business of dealing as much damage as possible and you don't care about sustainability, then this item is going to be a great choice for you. Not only is the percentage of really high value, at throne room 11 this can really mean some huge amount of damage to a single enemy, especially with the least health, giving you some easy kills along the way. Looking at the second item we have, and that'll be the Flame Plate Mail Soul. When an enemy dies, the unit's armour and health is increased by 20% for 6 seconds, and that can stack up to 3 times. This is another item which is going to be great to buy from the Colosseum store if you want to keep a certain fighter alive. It is almost guaranteed that a single enemy fighter will always die and most likely many will die in a single fight, activating this item's ability many times making it a great choice for any type of fighter. Moving on to the last item of the souls, and that'll be the Stone Shield Gear Soul. And this one isn't going to be as good as the previous items. This item can only blind a single enemy for one and a half seconds every once in a while, making the effect very weak compared to other basic abilities from other Archer Soul armors. So I'd personally ignore this one because of how expensive it can be and spend your resources elsewhere. But this does go to show that not every item is better than what you have already. So if you are unsure about any item in particular and want my advice, then make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll give you my opinion on if I think the item is good based on its stats so you're not going to be wasting your resources. Now if we have a quick look at the next three items just to give you a broader spectrum of items, you'll see that these are still good but not as obviously strong as some of the previous ones we've seen. I like this shark tooth amulet because the shield it can provide can be very useful keeping someone alive, but it is a real shame that it only protects someone from magic damage, but this item is still a lot better than a lot of event items, especially arena ones. The Guardian Shield Ring can be a very good item to use if you use more than one archer in your team at a time. You can also use this on a tank or assassin if you have a high damage per second fighter in the front line, but at the same time there are going to be so many good rings out there. I just feel this one's full short unless you aren't full on event rings yet, or if you want to add this to someone in your team that's for your gem base or expeditions. The last item is this Fire of Fury Sword Soul, and this item is both good and bad. Firstly, the item is great in the sense that you can have a 25% chance to deal an additional attack, which is guaranteed to hit a critical shot. But at the same time, this item is very expensive and might not be worth the value. The amulet and ring cost 4,400 rage stones when put together, and you can also pay for another item that would cost 7,000 rage stones, and even when you put that in with the ring and amulet, that still only costs 11,400, making three items 5,600 cheaper than this soul in particular. So when you put it in terms of value, I would rather have the three items over the single soul and have extra left over for another set of items that will get refreshed. So when this comes to yourself, even if an item does seem good, try and make sure it still makes value sense. Otherwise, you might have been better off just buying multiple different items rather than grinding it out for a single one and actually being worse off by the end of it. Now here are two little tips on how you could be earning more rage stones and more effectively. You might already know this first one, but the best thing you can do is have no one in your Titan Barracks or Titan Squad area, and this will allow any type of enemy to beat you in a fight. This will allow you to lose trophies naturally, meaning not only will the opponents you face be easier, but you'll also be more likely to earn that bonus for beating all the players on your matchup. You could also force this action more quickly by finding the person that loses you the most trophies and attack them repeatedly until you lose the amount of trophies that you want. Always remember that you lose more trophies than you can earn, so this method is very effective in combination with leaving no one in your barracks. The other thing which is going to be super simple, and that is just to watch the advert for 25 Rage Stones. It doesn't seem great, but let me explain. Let's say you watch the two adverts for the day, and that means you will now earn 50 Rage Stones. Now that amount is more than you would earn as a bonus for beating all five players, making this a very easy way of earning some Rage Stones. But not all adverts are equal in this regard. 
For example, the tower has their own adverts with 250 rift stones, which is a really bad value. Even after watching two, you only earn 500, which is the same as doing level one on easy, so this really isn't gonna be worth your time in watching these adverts, but the one for the rage stones does make much more sense. Please give this video a like if you have learned something new or have enjoyed how I've explained the store. And leave any comments down below on what you'd like me to cover next. And don't be afraid to leave any more comments on the Colosseum store if you still have some questions about anything in particular. So here's the Q&A series video where I explain the best Titan patronage to use. And here's my video on how to get 5 star dwellers and have everyone in your castle set at 5 stars just because you can.